Joining us here at ASCO 2012, happy to have with us again Dr. Brian Reaney from the Cleveland Clinic talking about kidney cancer. Let me ask you, last year you're here talking, this year you're here talking. A whole lot can happen in a year in your line of work. Yeah, it can, which is a good thing for patients. So last year I talked about the AXIS trial, which was the registration trial for axitinib, which was a second-line trial compared to serafinib, which was sort of de facto standard of care in that setting. Showed progression-free survival advantages, was approved on that basis, and uh, was approved in January and now has sort of entered clinical use and we're you know, gaining further experience with that drug in that refractory setting. Um, and then this year we've presented the first frontline data of that drug. And you got the approval. How does that change what you do? Well, Exitinib's approval gives another option to patients. And so, you know, we have a lot of institutional experience with the drug being involved in this development. So it's certainly our go-to drug uh, in the second line setting and even in later lines of that later lines of therapy for patients who've been on multiple therapies already. So doctor, this year you're presenting phase two upfront data. Correct, so um, you know, as with many drugs, it often gets developed initially in a refractory setting and then moved to the frontline setting. And I think what's exciting about axitinib is it's really the most potent, biochemically potent VEGF receptor inhibitor. So many of us believe that that potency should translate into clinical efficacy. So what we presented this year was a, a randomized phase two study with sort of a unique design. So one of the elements that's been built into axitinib's development is this dose titration concept. And what it's based on is that for axitinib and probably for any oral drug, that there's a percentage of people who are underdosed at at standard dosing. So a dose gets determined in a phase one study and it sort of gets carried through, but it's not the right dose for patients, for many patients. And if they're below a threshold, if they're below what's considered to be an adequate threshold, then they have no chance of responding. So what axitinib's done is built in this concept of dose titration into their protocols both in the phase two and phase three setting of upward escalation in patients who tolerate the drug to help them achieve adequate blood levels. And that's what was the design of this trial. Where do you go next with this? Do you know yet? Well, there is a large phase three trial in the frontline setting compared to serafinib that's completed accrual and should be reported within the next year. Um, the data that we reported showed a median progression-free survival of 14.5 months, which uh, is the longest that's been reported in this disease in the frontline setting. Where are you right now in this disease, would you say? I think we're um, at a point where we've uh, maximized our ability to suppress VEGF. I don't think there's other VEGF inhibitors coming. So we've, um, we inhibit that pathway. I think we do so efficiently. But there's still room for uh, other drugs and other approaches, whether it's combination approaches or novel targets, where we now need to be onto that next wave of drug development. Great. Thanks for joining us. I'm sure we'll look for you next year. Hopefully you'll have even more good news for patients Thank then. You. Dr. Brian Reening joining us talking about kidney cancer here at ASCO 2012.